Hi everybody, uh, I've got some information that I'd like to share with you. First of all, thank you for the comments and your support as always. Uh, I'm always in gratitude. Uh, I basically, I'm just going to throw this out there for you to decide to do with this what you would like. <coughs> I did do a remote viewing on this particular thing. I think it's probably the, the 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 best that I could find from what I could see. So I've written my notes down here. Uh, it does have. Okay, so basically, I'm going to read to you what I saw uh, that I wrote down. Uh, it's not. Okay, so when I was doing my remote viewing, I was looking into that thing on its own, looking for the frequency that it was um, radiating. And for those who uh, are not up to speed on how remote viewing works, there are obviously information, there's information out there to really just find out. But that's how I basically do it in my own way, is to track the frequency of that particular um, element that is has gone worldwide into the viral consciousness of humanity as such. So, uh, it introduces itself to me as a chimera and a chimera is something that, that is constructed out of multiple other species or other Organisms, something that is, it's a it, the the word chimera is mythological. It's a word for the for mythological creature that, like for example, has the feet of a chicken and the wings of an eagle and the tail of a dog and a head of a rooster. Uh, it just is something that's completely reworked. So there was something previously that was used and then it was reworked um, or re made up or reconfigured um, but that also has a part within itself that is artificial uh, so when I say artificial intelligence I'm not referring to the AI the regular AI but it is almost as if it's a it's artificially intelligent um, so it has an intelligence or a sentience about it and it feels like that particular sentience uh, ha comes from what was implemented into uh, a petri dish with fluid in it m giving it things giving it an artificial constructed energy to exist so I'm talking in, li in in the lines of that specific thing. And so yes, the following thing also comes through that it has to do with being with man-made uh, or constructed as the cells or membranes uh, that are extremely almost square like I'll put an image in for you to see. I'm referring to something that reminds me of bismuth, the crystal, um, where it's straight lines and circles almost like a little clock the insides of a clock that's what I see um, so it was put very specifically together from something that originally existed as something else um, and it was reworked um, also uh, from an original perspective it's kept that original um, syntax or original protein that it was found in or its shell that it was in um, it's it was built back into that someone taken a, a bunch of clocks from all over the world and they've put all of these clock parts into one clock and created this hybrid clock it's something like that to explain it like that um, if I if I panned out when I panned out a little bit uh, I could see something else that was connected to it. The words ghost in the shell comes also in for me. So.
Um, I also saw that uh, with its if I say sentience, I'm saying it's alive, but it's only alive because it was it was programmed. Like I would take the pen and give it a pro a program it like you would program a crystal um, and give it a to a task to actually operate from. So there is magic involved in that. I think it was probably to do with the state of emotional consciousness that was projected into that thing when it was done. Um, and when it was set in motion, but it was programmed while it was inside fluid. And I do see a laboratory of where it was created, where original things were originally kept as uh, a place of investigation but then manipulated and then there's another thing that um, I'd like to share with you is why I suggested bismuth crystal the crystal called bismuth um, is that it is crystal crystalline like as well so um, just for interest sake, when I looked up, when I was looking to do a little bit of investigation in what bismuth really is about, um, well, the first thing on top of the web page, it said, uh, see bismuth as a new chloride storage electrode enabling the construction of a practical high capacity battery in 2017. And then I've put the link in for you as well to see and to investigate that entire web page. It's a, wiki, a web page, a Google page to see. And um, so then of course my mind also went a little bit further and uh, to see what, what is up with the battery. W what is this? And then I thought, okay, maybe it's got something to do with being able to accommodate an electrical charge within the conscious field of the physical form with regards to the uh, but anyway there's so many stories out there and so many um, investigations with regards to that so I'm not really going for what is the next best thing that I'm trying to put in I'm just literally presenting this to you guys see what comes to you uh, don't become emotionally connected to it at all. Um, I do want to suggest that there is one way. I happen to investigate it in someone that I know. So that's how I, uh, from a long distance, track to see what it was. Um, there's another thing that worries me about this is also, aside from the fact that, it, that I've suggested to you and that I've brought it up, that it is something that actually affects the heart and the consciousness. Remember I spoke to you about the crown creating a lot of conflicting thoughts and, 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 and feelings like you don't know where this is coming from and what is it about and it's making everybody feel stressed out and afraid. Um, it has a direction or an origin in a country where it comes from. Uh, does not matter how you look at it, left, right, up, center, all the way, however you want to check it out, it's coming from one place only. Um, and unfortunately, this is like a great if you to allowing business procedures to take place. Um, this feels to me very much like it's copied out of a storybook, um, this entire thing, because never, as far as I'm aware, from as far as memories have served me has there ever been anything like this really that's taken place I mean the last time we ever we, 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 we heard about something as catastrophic as this was something to do with the the fall the fallen consciousness which it seemed like we've always just been falling but um, the deluge uh, as well as the, pu the the bubonic plague, the Spanish flu, you know all of those things. But I've never really read anywhere, unless I'm not right, not correct here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, have you read anywhere or remembered anywhere in your consciousness 
that the world is being taken hostage with one thing like that specifically um, uh, it's not meant to happen to put it like that uh, greed unfortunately has allowed that particular thing to take place so there's three things we can do to actually stop it right like where it is we can stop it within ourselves is what I'm saying I'm not saying you have to go and stand there like Neo and block all the bullets coming at you I'm not saying that at all I'm saying aside from becoming calm as I've always been saying to you becoming aware and becoming connected to your conscious mind and your heart and then to look at the thing in an objective point of view look at the entire picture that I'm giving you right now and then I would like to ask you wherever you are to apply the following return to sender uh, I can guarantee you that if you start to apply that consciousness where you're just saying okay return to sender wherever you are coming from you can go all the way back then you can prevent we can add to preventing or to changing the great alien invasion because that's what we're in right now if you really want to drag in all the stories from everywhere then I would say that this is the alien invasion because it is foreign is it not it is foreign and alien to to no one's aware of how to find out how to fix up this thing uh, or to why is it suddenly happening and we all have to become quarantined it's alien the alien invasion has descended upon us here it is so return to sender there in my channel is a video and I shall put the link back in there again please have a look at that that works that's as simple as it is uh, works really well you know that story about the little stone that was put inside that that thing and da and, and David flung it around and the one little pebble hit the giant on the third eye there where it matters return to sender and then focus on what is within you and what is around you and become more locally focused on what you can do for not just yourself but also for your community with regards to creating a vegetable garden becoming sustainable I know I've heard uh, yeah, but how, how will this happen? And I've heard of people actually doing bartering right now, exchanging eggs for this and that. The consciousness is not dead. Consciousness is growing rapidly. This, from the beginning, as I've suggested to you, is was going to be a year of revelations, the great reveal of many things. So now, now we know we can see and so we act upon it I'm leaving this with you uh, I would like to suggest to you that you also take note how you allow your consciousness to give s s consent to be subjected to a particular data stream of information so again be mindful what you are allowing your conscious mind to take in including everything that I'm saying to you here right now be mindful uh, we are all in this together as we always are we've always been together in this and I cannot say more than every time whenever I connect with you guys and when I can feel that we're all connected that we are we're in the eye of the needle people and we are going through it it's a giant needle but we are definitely going through it look after yourselves and keep in mind that 
where we all are, that we are as if one body. We are connected within one consciousness, one heart. Look after yourselves. Much love.